Hello students, welcome to Statics. I'm Dr. Stewart, and today we're gonna to do an example for finding the centroid of a line. This example is example 9.1, coming from Hibbler's Statics book. The problem tells us to find the centroid of the, given, of, of the rod that's given. Let's look at the rod that's given. This rod we can describe as a line. It's centroid, x bar and y bar, exists somewhere below the line. The line is described as an equation. x is equal to y squared. And so we need to find the centroid, the x bar and y bar, for this line. All right, so let's let's get started. Uh, the first thing we want to do is list our knowns and unknowns. We know the equation for the line. We also are given some dimensions for the line, for how you know where it ends in the x and y position. It's one meter at and one meter as its final uh, position. The unknowns that we have for this problem or everything that we need to find the centroid. The first unknown is the differential length, a little sub-element that we're gonna integrate over to find, this, to find the centroid locations, right? That differential length also has its own centroid, its own central position. So we need to find the x tilde and y tilde for that differential length. And then finally, we need to do some calculus to find the centroid, to find the x bar and y bar position. If we uh, you know, um, go into our notes and we, we look in the book, we can see that if we're given an equation x is equal to the function of y, and that's what we have, x is equal to some, some function of y, it's equal to uh, y squared, then we should use the following in replacement for our differential length, where the differential length, dl, is equal to the square root in brackets at dx dy, uh, in close bracket squared, plus one times dy. So this is the expression we're gonna use for our differential length. We also wanna note that the differential length, it is actually, we can physically draw it as it represents some, some portion of the, uh, um, of the length of our rod. It's important, that concept, that that differential length represents some portion. So now that we've got this expression for the differential length, let's look inside and see how we might clean this thing up a little bit. We see that we have a, a dx a dy, the, the derivative of x with respect to y, uh, function. Well, we know x is equal to y squared. We've got an equation for it. That's a given. So let's plug that in, and we'll find that that dx dy is equal to 2y, which gives us the following equation, where the differential length is equal to the square root of 2y squared plus 1 times dy. And note that this differential length is all in terms of y. It's all in terms of one of our options, x or y. This is important because we're going to use this when we do the integration. This is something we need to do to, to, to properly uh, find the x bar and y bars. The next step is to find expressions for x tilde and y tilde. For this one, it's very easy. We go up to our diagram. We see our expression or, or the, uh, the element that we selected, and we want to uh, set x tilde and y tilde as a distance from point O to the X center and point O to the Y center of our differential element. So we'll just set those as equal to X and Y as variables and, 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 and we're good. So now we've got all of these um, unknowns taken care of. We can actually get to solving for the centroid. So let's apply the centroid of line equations. 
These equations are known. They come from uh, uh, the book where x bar is equal to the integral of x tilde over the differential length divided by the integral over the differential length. All right? Let's put in the things that we now know. Um, well, we know uh, the x tilde is equal to x. We know that the dl can be replaced with this expression. And we also can replace the dl with this expression in the denominator. Now, if we stopped right here, we would not be able to solve this expression. And that's because we would be integrating with respect to x over dy. And that is not going to work. So we need to replace the x that we have in this uh, equation with something else. Well, luckily we have, we were given that x is equal to y squared. So let's go ahead and plug that in. And now this equation is all in terms of y. We're integrating with respect to y, and the only thing we see is y in the equation. So now we're at the point where we got to do a little bit of calculus. We perform the calculus, and we'll find that x bar is equal to 0 0.41 meters. All right. That's great. Now we need to repeat this to find y bar the y position of the centroid. And what we'll do is we'll take the known equation that y bar is equal to the integral of y tilde over the differential length divided by the integral over the differential length. We'll replace the y tilde with y because we, we found y tilde should be equal to y. We replace the dl with the expression that we found. And now everything is in terms of y and we can do the calculus. Once we do the calculus, we'll find that y bar is equal to 0.574 meters. And so the centroid of this line or the rod is, is set at 0.41 meters and 0.574 meters respectively. In solving these centroid problems, it's always the, the, the most uh, 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 critical steps are carefully identifying the, 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 the differential element as well as the position of that differential element. So before you go and do the calculus, always make sure that you have found those properly, that you understand what those are. And drawing on the diagram where those things are, drawing those dimensions is going to help you a bunch. All right, so we're done with this example. Uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell button so that you can get all the, the new example videos that are in the pipeline. Um, I hope that you've uh, learned something new today. I'll see you in the next video.